Well, hello, everybody. If anybody doesn't know me, I'm Karen Gordon. And this is one of my favorite weekends of the year because 44 years ago, I met my husband at America's Beauty Show. And it was called the, Mid it was called the Midwest Beauty Show, for those of you who were around then. So I was a student in cosmetology school, and Jerry was the featured guest artist. And I attended his class, and the rest is history. And I won't tell you the details in between. So. <laughs> 44 years later, I'm incredibly honored to present the Jerry Gordon Salon Business Leadership Award. Jerry left this earth in 2015, and it brings me great happiness to know his legacy lives on. I'm incredibly grateful to CC for making that happen. But Frank, the board to everybody, thank you very much. It means the world to me. The Jerry Gordon Salon Business Leadership Award was established not only to honor Jerry's contributions to our industry, but also to honor an individual who represents the highest ideals that Jerry championed in his business and hairstyling career. Leading the industry with sound business practices, abiding by a strong sense of ethics, committing to lifelong learning, mentoring and promoting women in the industry, and so much more. Jerry always had time to listen to a salon owner in crisis. Sometimes he was a salon owner in crisis, and he was a mentor to thousands of hairdressers over the many years of his career. Jerry was a friend to all and a major contributor to our industry at so many levels that so many people don't even know. This year's award recipient is Jeff South. Jeff South is the eighth recipient of the Jerry Gordon Salon Business Leadership Award, following some of our most distinguished industry leaders who are also salon owners, including Jerry himself, our past president, Frank Geronda, Nick Orojo, Candy Shaw, Eric Fisher, Frank Ambuza, and last year, Ginger Boyle. Jeff is a second generation hairdresser and owner of, salon, of Intrigue Salon in Atlanta for 35 years. He is a revered business leader and a brand builder. His innovative programs, including his famed Upgrade program, have helped stylists increase their confidence and their earning potential and salons to become much more profitable than they were before. Some of you may know Jeff as the founder of Club Intrigue, which started in Atlanta. He recognized the barrier existed in education and Club Intrigue became a connecting point for industry professionals to gather face-to-face, -face, build relationships, collaborate, and be part of something that otherwise might seem intimidating or unattainable to some. Club Intrigue has expanded across the country with everyone welcome, regardless of experience, brand affiliation, or salon size. Consequently, Jeff South is known as one of the nicest guys in the hairdressing industry. Some call him the mayor of Atlanta's hairdressing community. I'm very proud to call him a dear friend, always with an ear to listen and sound advice to be given. And with that said, I present Jeff South with his Baccarat Crystal Prancing Horse. Jeff, if you wanna come up. So representative of Jerry, his love of Ferrari, fine quality, innovation, business practices, and representing our industry so well. Congratulations. Thank you. Wow, look at this. It's amazing. I wanted to give you the car, but it's I like, couldn't. <laughs> Where's the car? It's gone. <laughs> I'm going to put this over here. You know, I, I, I came to this show before I knew I wanted to be a hairdresser in the, I guess it was the early 70s. And I think it was called some Midwest Beauty Show back then. And it's always been the one to go to. And it's amazing that I made a great friend with Jerry and I I guess 12, 11 years ago, I went to his home and he cooked me foie gras. We had figs and we had wine. And I'm like, this is, this is really cool. You know, I'm with this great guy. We always had great conversations. That, that's, for me, that's so important. We, we talked about books. We talked about the news. We talked about the industry, you know, salon business. I mean, we're all the same. You know, I, I know my, my whole career has been built on, in, I guess, in the last 30 years, I've been doing here longer than that, but it's built on relationships. That's it. And I think Atlanta is really, you know, one of the best hair towns in the country, only mirrored by one other. And I bet you guys know what it is, Chicago, you know, so congratulations with that, because I tell you, my friends in, in Atlanta, right when you need, you know, someone to talk to, you know, we've got all of our friends here. And that's that relationship is so important. And through COVID, we all realized that, didn't we? And I'm sure every, uh, how many times have we spoken? A, a million times. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's amazing. But it's also in that 
you know, it's, it's all this face-to-face, too. I know I heard Robert say it. I've heard Frank say it. I've heard Karen say it. I mean, that's it. I want, I want to get back to this face-to-face education, not browser-to-browser. Because it's so it's time to get back personal again. We've, we've had that run of that. That's just me. I think that's important. And I think um, every hair salon owner in the world, I'll say, needs to have another salon owner they can call. Because I know, I'm, I'm friends with all the, I'm the mayor of Atlanta, and she said, right? And all of my friends in the network, you, you know, we all have big salons, we're all successful, all of that, but everyone needs someone to speak to. Do you guys agree? Yeah, it's amazing. I, I've completely learned when I started embracing that with Club Intrigues, like, hey, let's everyone come in here. Let's every, bring everyone in, and um, we all learn together. You know, and it just brought this whole community together. It's exactly, it's what, the, what's, what your association's about. So, and then I got lucky. I got, I found Bonnie Bonadeo here is my fiance. So we're gonna keep building up and, and hopefully this Club Intrigue's gonna make another run here soon. Hopefully someplace great maybe. It would be, Chicago could be great, you know. And, um, or Maui would be good too. <laughs> yeah. British Virgin Islands. British Virgin Islands, <laughs> yeah. So um, that being said, I'm rambling on, but I'm so honored for, I can't, I can't believe I'm seeing my face on that sign there. Honestly, I really can't. And those calls with Jerry all the time, he, he would call up and he would, no, thanks Jerry. He would, he would call and it's like, is, is it really get 10 below zero here or five below zero? He goes, people aren't coming in. They're yelling at me in this salon. It's 10 below zero. Is it me or is it just the people? I go, it's 10 below zero, Jerry. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. And even literally, that, that's the call. Thanks, Mike. Like, like that fast. So there's quick, quick phone calls. No one's got time just to burn all this time. But um, that being said, and the relationship with Karen, thank you. I mean, it's, it's been such a, COVID was a crazy time. You know, it was a crazy time. But now things are, it seems like just two months ago, things just really just started taking off, getting back to those 2019 numbers again. So I'm very proud, and I I'm, I'm hope I make Jerry proud, and all of you guys too. And thank you for the award. Appreciate it. Thank you.